YouTube! So today I am here to show you guys an unboxing of the limited edition of Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. So this actually is the Switch version, the regular limited edition, and I have another one that I'm going to show you guys that comes with a bracelet. So yeah, like a bonus I guess. I'm going to also show you guys the new book that was released alongside the game. This is um, what it's called, Kazuma Kaneko Art Book, Artworks, and it includes art from Devil Summoner, um, Digital Devil Saga, Mechanics, uh, Strange Journey, and games like that. So I figured I'd pick this one up because I really like some of the games that are included on this art book. This is the ninth one and I don't have any of the other ones but I'll probably start getting the other ones too. Anyways, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so this is the Switch edition of the limited edition. This is the regular limited edition and you can see the logo. It tells you what's in it. And yeah, this is just like a sleeve. You can take it off. I didn't take the plastic off. I just cut it open here so that I could, you know, preserve the box in the best condition possible but let's take a look at what's inside so you get this so the box is pretty sturdy which is nice but let's move it out of the way and this must be like the lamp uh, so it looks very cool if you play the game you'll know what this is and I have not opened this yet but it's pretty nice that I was able to pull it out quite easily. Usually when you pull this part out, like it gets damaged, you know? I hate that. But it looks like it does come in another box. Oh no, wait. They're just pieces of a box. And it looks like, yeah, this is, these are just like cardboard protecting this box. <laughs> so this is the same thing as the bigger box, but it's like lit up and it's dent it's damaged that's not nice and it does come taped i took the tape off and it gives you like a general instruction and it says that if you put it in the power source you can put essential oils some drops of essential oils and turn it on and you can enjoy the aroma so this is like um aromatic lamp and you get a better instruction right here for it it's all in japanese but you can see the the picture of it yeah i don't think i'll use it i might use it just as a lamp but i don't think i will it's not like i need it you know okay so the cardboard is pretty pretty ugly looking yeah <laughs> but this is like ceramic i believe it feels very hard uh, I will turn it on, plug it in and turn it on so you, get, you guys can see the clip of it in the video. But so far, it feels very nice. So this is where we drop the oils in. But let's move on to the next part. This is the game. I already opened it. I have not taken out the game. And this gives you like a code so that you can do a survey. And I thought it was cool that they give you another drawing art from on the inside instead of just blank you know so like some of the games and this is what the game looks like yep exactly like the cover so nothing really special out of, out of the ordinary and this is just like you know a separation thingy for the box and this is like a magazine explaining um the how the story starts and the world settings it's all in japanese and there's lots of text, not much uh, artwork. So it's not an art book, this is like a magazine. If you don't understand Japanese, I don't think you'll be able to enjoy it. But I really like the idea of this because you can learn so much of the game that maybe you didn't know about, like the settings and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely a nice inclusion to the limited edition. And then what I was looking forward to the most was this. This is the Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster Piano Arrange and Rare Soundtrack. So it comes like in this DVD box. I just call them DVD boxes. And there are two discs. So here's the first one. This is the Piano Arrange Soundtrack. And I believe this is the Rare Soundtrack. 
So it's like this copper co color, like faded color. <laughs> it's not completely colorful. So it's based on like this, you know. It just tells you the composers and the arrangement of the, each of the songs, I guess. And that's it. There are no lyrics, of course, so yeah. And that's it for the limited edition, the regular limited edition. So let's move on to the super <laughs> special limited edition from Ebiten. Okay, so these are the items included in the limited edition from Ebiten. And first, this is like a teacup, Japanese teacup. And you can see the Jack Frost sticker, the official Atlas logo. And let's open it up. Other than the like the sticker, it doesn't really have anything special, by the way. And this is also based on the same design of the lamp. Like I said, if you know the game, if you play the game, you know what this is. And it doesn't change colors or anything, I don't think. This just tells you how to clean it and stuff. But this is pretty cool. It's very well made. Uh, and you do have the logo, Atlas, Sega, All Rights Reserved. I don't think I'll be using this, but it's cool to have in the collection. Moving on. Next one, I guess this is a pass case. That's what they call it in Japanese. This is where you put like your um, transportation card. In Japan, they use a lot of uh, cards to get on buses or trains. You just recharge the card instead of just you know paying each time you go on there. And you just like scan the card so that you can pay from the card. So this is what that is. Or I guess you could put your ID in there if you want. But let's open it. So it does have like these designs. <laughs> Subtle designs. And it's like navy colored. And you can see these icons there. That's pretty cool. And you do have the Atlas Sega uh, branding. This is this one I like. Although I don't think I'll be using either. It's not like... I'm going to show my ID in this thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like hanging this on my bag, you know, hanging my ID from the bag. And you have the Jack Frost sticker. And then we have this. This is the acrylic standee of uh, Daido. And let's see. You also have the sticker on here, so I guess I'm gonna have to be keeping all the baggies or cut the stickers out, I don't know. So, oh, <laughs> this is in another bag. It doesn't look like it, but it's in another plastic bag. So I guess I'll have to take it out from there too. So this is the base, pretty cool. And Daido. So I'm guessing... <laughs> I hate how it sounds, but... So it's gonna go in like that. And you have Goto, the cat. And I'm guessing he's gonna go in the back. And he, since you have a space between Raido's legs, you can see the cat from the behind. This is pretty cool, but you have to... <laughs> kind of hard to get in there, but yeah, this is nice. And then let's move on to the game I'm not going to even open because I'm not going to play it on the PlayStation 4. But this is what the game case looks like. It's exactly like the Switch version. And I'm sure that there won't be anything inside because there was nothing inside on the Switch version. Let's open this. Um, this is like an acrylic panel. So this is a nice art panel that you could set up I guess almost anywhere you wanted um, let's take out the stand Oops. I mean you don't have to use this if you don't want to you could get another like stand but it looks pretty cool and this is a poster it just comes in a plastic bag like this and it's pretty small but it's a long poster so this is what it looks like. This is the artwork, you know, original artwork for the game. So yeah, I'll definitely be putting it out somewhere. Um, I'm going to show you guys once I have everything set up so that you can take a better look. But for now, 
This is what it looks like. I'll just set it here for the time being. Oops, I moved the camera, sorry. So this is the accessory from DDS and it comes in this nice <laughs> case that looks like a book but it's so hard to take out of the sleeve. Um, okay, not that much I guess. And you do get a nice warranty card that protects your purchase. They will exchange it for the same product within within 180 days. Yep. Nice. I don't think I'll need to use it, but yeah. So this is what the box looks like. I, I really like it. It's cute. You can like set it up somewhere, you know, and it'll still look cool. And it comes in a baggie like this. Wait, what is this? Oh, it says Atlas and Sega. Um, so yeah, let's open it up. And it comes in another Ziploc bag, <laughs> I guess, to protect it, just in case. And it comes in another Ziploc bag to protect it, so it's double Ziploc bag. At least you know you won't get a scratched accessory. So, this is it. It's supposed to have a moonstone here and the icons the battle scene icons there. I'm not sure what you call, what call them in English. Um, so it feels nice and heavy. Um, hefty. It says full and you see the icons there. So yeah, it's supposed to be silver. I don't know if it's completely silver. But let's see. It does say 925 silver or silver 925. 925. So yeah and it says DDS it has the logo so this is pretty nice uh, let me show you guys how big it is on oh, my hand arm it's pretty big <laughs> I really don't even have to take this off to put it on but you can adjust it I mean I could move the clip over here so that it doesn't move around so much I might use it and like I don't want to just put it away and never use it Although I'm sure that not many people will even know what this is. I think that's what's cool about these things. Like I don't want something that has the Shin Megami Tensei logo plastered all over it. Um, because people will be like, what is that? You know, and sometimes it's uncomfortable having people asking you stuff if you don't even know them. So... Oops, I put it away wrong, but whatever, I'm going to take care of that later. <laughs> but yeah, that's the limited edition. Now let me show you guys how I set up, set everything up. I mean, not everything, but some of the stuff up. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys that I bought the art book, the ninth art book. I don't have any of the others because I don't know. <laughs> but I decided to get this one because it includes some of the artwork from games I really enjoy. And this is a hardcover book. I already opened it up and it cost around $30. Uh, it's very sturdy, it's very hard. And although I already opened it, I haven't taken a look at it yet. So let's take a closer look and I'm not going to show you guys everything because I want you guys to buy the book but some of the artworks are from Shimami Tensei If you can see very cool hip skirt and pants <laughs> but let's see um, and this is from Strange Journey, which is one of my favorite Shin Megami Tensei games. I really like the original artwork, not the new one. Ooh, I really like this one. Um, yeah, sad story, kind of. <clears throat> Boogaboo! And things like that. Let's take a look at some of the other games. This is the digital, I mean, sorry, Devil Summoner. 
Oh, it smells like new book. And the paper is not glossy at all. It's very matte. Almost the one you draw on, but a little bit harder. You have the artwork for the weapons. And it's kind of cool that each page is just one character. Uh, because usually they give you a lot, a lot of different stuff on each of the pages, you know, but smaller. This is from King Abaddon. I really like this one. Kitty. And what else? I don't want to show you guys everything. Digital Devil Saga. Characters. I, I never played this one. I haven't played it. I have the game, but I haven't played it. And I'm sure that's the second game. Yes, you have the thingy there. Not much from the second game. Devil Survivor. So I guess this is the designs of the devils because I believe Devil Survivor's characters, the main characters weren't designed, designed by or weren't drawn by Kaneko. Devil Children. Oh, cute. Cute, cute. Everybody's cute. This is cute. I'm so happy. Maken X. Maken Shao. And games like that. So you get a nice selection of artworks if you buy this. Um, I mean, if you're not into the designs of this person, you're not gonna enjoy it obviously. And you do have like um, explanation or details of each of the characters from the different games, which is nice. Uh, if you haven't played ga the games or if you want to remember who they were, or if you don't remember, you can read up on it if you know Japanese. And I'm not gonna recommend this if you don't understand Japanese for this because it doesn't have any furigana. If you don't know if you don't know how to read kanji, you're going to have a hard time. But yeah, you have lots of text for each of the characters. And this is the glossary. And that's it. Um, it's a very nice book. I'm really happy I picked it up. I'm gonna be reading and taking a closer look later. And it's not the paper is not smooth completely. It feels like you can draw on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. Um, I think it's completely worth it. And I'm probably going to be getting the other ones if I get a chance. So there you go. Uh, what did you guys think? I really enjoyed unboxing all the stuff. And I guess um, I like the bracelet. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use it. I do want to use it, but I don't know. <laughs> and um, the book was really, really nice. Uh, I recommend getting the book. And I recommend waiting to get the limited edition. And I'm sure that the American release will have some sort of a limited edition. So I might pick that one up too when it comes out. Anyways, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.